again on my channel today I'm going to review um, this COB LED a very cheap one it just cost two dollars for four pieces in Malaysia it's around uh, 10 ringgit for four pieces this is a from China it claims to be uh, error free and should be last long this is by the way is a t10 led my car toyota wish has the one with the the normal incandescent bulb it just burned out after years i thought i my car have no um no parking light but when i see actually it has parking light it's just that the bulb is already burned out um so this guy uh said is have an error free features which is uh the polarity can be reversed it is it will still work and in that sense also led is more brighter for for, for you guys that uh, might asking what is the difference between smd led and cob led basically the difference is the cob led is like this they have um, a circuit board race of LED bound together by a silicon like this. And this SMD one, you can see the LED chip individually by itself um, stick to the to the board of the LED chip. Okay, so that's the difference. Some people say SMD is more brighter and COB is less brighter and less durable uh for my experience they are about the same because i have uh, the one with smd for the headlight also for the one with the cob basically they are the same brightness okay so let's get in and uh put it on to my car and see what is what's the diff uh, how is it's performed okay and remember this is a t10 led it's just used for parking light i refuse to buy those osram and philips which is less bright i guess because it's just use one led driver in a small um, covered with small diffuser uh, light diffuser so i don't want to buy that okay let's continue to the engine bay so by the way i'm installing this onto a toyota wish 2006 let's get in so basically this is the T10 socket you're going to remove just twist it and pull it basically I empty the bulb I just throw it in the bin I can't stand it's there and it's burned so we're going to put the one of the SMD chip uh, ACOB LED inside here so we just slide it in like this oh it's hot SMBD LED is in so let's just test and see if it's what works and it's bright the only thing is the problem is the mount have to be broken a bit in order to make it stick but what I do I will tap the mount to make sure the LED stays fit inside like that I'll do the tap on the mount to prevent the bulb from slide out so just a wire tap to the walls around and just plug it in inside it's in it's twist it's locked so it's good now after that just do at the other side and we'll see the result the result you get not really bright but it's okay because it's cheap and one thing they said it's error free actually it's not so you have to twist the other side if it's not working so that's all hopefully you subscribe to this channel and support it it's a good info guys see you